One of the most important pages in this book is right here. And this shows a diagram of the de Laval nozzle principle. Right here, we have steam entering at 150 psi. As the steam enters and then starts to expand again, the velocity increases and the pressure drops. So in my turbine, we have open 1 8 MPT with its inner diameter here leading into four brass tubes, hard silver soldered into the end, which flare out to cover the four gaps of the five disc turbine. And uh, that's, we'll have a more efficient uh, steam use when we uh, refine this nozzle arrangement. I'll read this as a good example of uh, how they describe it. Figure 190 shows the section of the Deval nozzle with diagrams showing how the pressure falls as the steam passes through the nozzle and how the velocity increases, assuming ideal conditions. Suppose steam at a pressure of 150 pounds per square inch to enter the nozzle and then and the pressure at the other end into which the steam is discharged is gradually reduced from 150 pounds to 89 pounds pressure. Then it is found that the weight of the steam discharged gradually increases any further reduction of pressure at the discharge end of the nozzle below 89 pounds does not affect the weight of the steam discharged. It is found by experiment that the maximum weight of steam passes through the nozzle when the discharge pressure is 58% or less than 58% of the initial pressure. This is illustrated in figure 191, which shows the weight of steam discharged through the nozzle a gradually increase with the falling back of pressure and then remain stationary. Now if you can find this book, Heat Engines, being a new edition of Steam by Ripper, uh, Longman's Elementary Science Manuals. It's a really good book and it's 1909 I think this is the update of 1909 so it does have turbine information in it. And uh, it's the year that Tesla also came out with his revolutionary turbine, which is not mentioned in here, but this is full of boiler information and that kind of thing where uh, steam engines and governors and that kind of stuff. It's a great book. So that's Heat Engines, Don't Be Fooled, by Ripper. There's a lot of heat engine books, but this one's by Ripper and it has uh, excellent information and data in it.